Hello guys, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to change the default map from the um, menu map that's instantly loaded when you open the UDK games to your own custom map. So therefore you can make it just spawn you automatically into the game, you can add a menu map, you can add a map to do whatever you want. Just like a default map, this is actually a map. There's a block of BSP brushes in the back and then they load a GFX movie so basically that's what happens so I'm going to show you how to change the default load map so I'm going to exit out of that and open up UDK and I'm going to go to new map I'm just going to create a, an example map for now because um, there's not really any other reason to make a nice map because it's not how to make a menu so I'm going to just go and save, and save as, actually no, I'm going to wait, I'm going to change the game type, because I hate, hate, um, when it just does not have UT game. Yeah, okay, so that's that. Um, so then I'm going to go and save as. And then I'm gonna go on just gonna save it in the root directory. So I'm gonna make it new main that upk. So yeah, it does that automatically. So save. And then it should be good. So now we can exit out of the UDK and go into our UDK install directory, go to UDK game, and then in the con config folder, find your default engine folder your default engine INI file. Open that in Notepad. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open it in um, Sublime Text because it's my, my text editor that I use. So, I'm also unregistered right now, so I have to register. But what you're gonna do is you're going to, under URL in brackets, there should be two different ones. Just put semicolon in front of map and local map. So under that, you're going to make map equals, and then the name of your map, new map dot upk. And then under that, you're going to go local map equals new map dot upk. And now that's done, just safe, and it should be done. Uh, I'm going to X out of that. All right here's that. And then I'm going to open my front end and say yes to that. If you do that. And then compile. I'm going to just do a free, uh, full recompile since it's not that much to strain it on and it's not like it's going to hurt anything. Might as well just be safe and sorry. Even though it's not going to be any errors. And if you do get any errors, feel free to comment. So now I'm going to open up the UDK game and our new map should be loaded as our default. Whoops. I'm going to have to redo that crash for some reason. I guess I'm not going to click it. I'm just going to let it load through it. But it just happened. Um, stop. So I'm just checking if there's a Try the UDK, the Unreal Development Kit editor. <coughs> Let's see if this changes anything after we load it up. Doubt it though. PC. So now it's loading up our game. And I do realize that I loaded this out of the editor and it should be working like that, but this is the way it would work. And I'm going to try loading it up again. I don't understand this. Um. 
let me just replace that player start and see what happens after that play level no add actor player start and let me just rebuild all and then I'm gonna go back in the INI file and just make sure everything was correct I'll delete those and save. Next out. Minus. Close. Save the map. Save current level. X out of that. And then just run UDK game and let it ask me to rebuild the scripts. If it doesn't, okay. Let's see what happens. Please don't crash. I might have to remake this tutorial. And I. I think I do. I'm gonna pause this until I figure out what the problem is. Okay guys, I figured out the problem. Um, what you have to do is you have to go into UDK, which is start from the beginning. And you're gonna make a new map. You're gonna go to blank map, because I guess those other default maps don't work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a BSP, and then add a player start. And then I'm gonna hold down L, click, and then add a light. And then I'm gonna build all. This is just a basic map. I mean, you can use this for a menu with your own menu player class or whatever. Uh, yeah, so you can do all the GFX stuff in Kismet. And then save this as my <coughs> menu map.udk or whatever you want to name it. I've just made, named it menu map. And replace. And then I'm going to go into the config file and we're at the same place as last, last time just name it menu map UPK and menu map UPK and then leave entry map UPK the way it is and the entry so then you can close out of that open UDK game you don't need to compile anything so once the UDK game loads we have our map loaded and I fell off of it that so now you have your default map changed in the game please subscribe rate and comment this video on this video if you have any questions on how I did anything just in case I wasn't clear enough and please subscribe and follow me for more have a nice day peace